Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's fun adventure that you all voted for, the community, thank you, by the way. That makes my life so much easier of what raid or dungeon to do next. And you all voted the Maw of Souls, and that's where we are. We are back in the Legion expansion. We are in Stormheim. And we're in the Mob Souls dungeon, and we're going to be getting out of bounds and taking a look around the surrounding area. I am super excited to go check out what's around here. I did do a little bit of research before because I know this dungeon is a little tricky, uh, especially the very end. I won't spoil anything, but it's really neat to see some stuff outside. And uh, we're going to go take a look together. Now, where I'm currently at is actually right in the beginning of the dungeon. You enter right here. And uh, you can see the portal over there. And uh, when you turn, take a right right here, there's a spot over, I mean, honestly, you can really use this whole ridge line right here uh, to do anything you want. But I find it easiest is right over here in the corner. Put a pillow down. And there we go, we're already out of bounds. So it's really just that simple. Now, just a heads up, when you do get out of bounds over here on this side, the right side of me, this is all, this is like death right here. So just be careful going into here. This is death. That's death. So I would walk all along this way. All of this is fine up in the mat, like everywhere around, except for this little spot right over here is death. Now why that was, I don't know. And we might even find other death places as well. So who knows? All right, we're going to go take a look around the swamp area of this dungeon and we're going to go see what we can find. Now, normally, you're not supposed to see past what they don't want you to see of the the lining of the mountains over here. Because technically, we are still in Stormheim, just a downsize, out-of-bounds version of it. So we're kind of going into a liminal space of Stormheim here. Now, you see the music did change. Now, what's really interesting, too, is I didn't show you guys in the beginning, and I should have, because I have a stinky bright potion on. In the beginning of the map, it's actually super dark, it's super foggy, you're not supposed to see out here what's covering up the land here. So Blizzard does do a really good smoke and mirror effect, but if you take the stinky bright potion off, you can see that all of this lights up. And it actually gives a really cool effect, it's like the uh, northern lights here going on, I love it. But if you were to go back into the beginning of the dungeon, right where we came from, you're actually going to be uh, covered up by all of the good stuff there of the fog and the black mist and I don't know what you call it, but so when you jump out of bounds, it lights up everything because technically they're just acting like you're back in Stormheim. So really cool. All right, let's go take a look. We got across the swamp here. Let's go take a look into this village and see what's here and what isn't. Now, it looks like all these buildings are fully modeled. So if we actually walk straight into here. We can see that we can go up in these, making our way up the building, walking fast, paces fast, you know, as they're upbound, da -da 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 -da. right? Did I get that right? Probably got that right. All right. So you can see we made it to the top here of the tower and you can get a good view. Now, one thing I love about this map and especially getting out of bounds is look at this over here. There's like this dark red house in the distance here and it's really creepy looking. And it reminds me so much of like a Halloween type house where you would see around Halloween time. And I love it so much. It reminds me of like a witch's house, which is creepy. Look at this thing. I need to get a screenshot of that. Let's go see if there's anything actually inside. You know, I never walked inside this thing. I'm actually uh, curious. Well, that was a little bit of a letdown. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> I thought there was going to be more in here. So it's just that dark red glow that's in the house. Okay. But it is freaky looking. Look, it makes our dude all red glowing too. Look at that. Wouldn't that be like a cool Halloween? Uh, I just need like a Halloween costume on. Oh, by the way, I am sh I am um, sporting the uh, transmog set again of the underwater. I don't know what you call it. Uh, the deepest depths divers bonnet. It's the set, and you get it uh, from the uh, trade post. 
I traded in some coins for it, and I really like it a lot. Now, unfortunately, I don't think you can actually hold your breath underwater with this set, which was really disappointing because it's just a transmog. It, do it doesn't actually, you're not actually wearing the armor, you're just covering up your other armor with it. So that was kind of disappointing to see. I thought that there was going to allow you to do that, so... Thomas, if you're listening, um, I don't think that it allows you to breathe underwater. Or Monk, I don't remember who said it. One, one of you guys said it. I think both of you guys said it one time to me, so I don't think you could actually use the set to breathe underwater. So just a heads up to both of you guys and everyone else listening. Uh, Thomas and Monk are from the ATN community, and um, so that's who I was addressing there. All right, let's keep taking a look around and let's go see what we can find. Now, I do want to talk about something real quick that's been kind of on my mind lately. I am terrible at acknowledging people. I used to be really good at it. Um, and I'm talking about OOB out of bounds and stuff like that. Credit that we would call it. I don't keep up with credit very well. And starting from now on i'm not gonna say the people's names in the video because i forget anyways but i will put a comment in the comment section below of who broke out of the out of bounds map first in the atn community i'll make it fair that way um because me trying to remember everybody who broke out and i just make the video and then i forget it's just huh, it's too much so you know if you want to do out of bounds exploration do it on your own and I, I think that's great you should um and you know there's other atn not either atn there's other oob communities that do this stuff not just me and there's so many other people that came before me so i understand the oob credit but at the same time it's like i can't I can't go 10 years back and give that person credit of what they did, you know? If I legitimately steal somebody's out of bounds the way they got out, then yeah, of course I'm going to give them credit for it. But I can't go back and go look through other communities and be like, hey, this person, and today we're giving credit to this person and this person and this 10 other people that did it before me. It's just too much to do. So. Um, just going forward, if you want OOB credit for something and you're like, you know, you're part of the AT community and you see that maybe I haven't broke out of something yet and you did first in the community, send it to me or True Hero and we'll give you credit for it and I'll make sure to put a comment on the video. So, all right, if that sounds fair, because it's too hard to keep up with everybody's credit. I gotta focus on doing the channel and this other stuff and it's just too much. So, I, I just wanted to get that off my, uh, my chest and my mind and uh, just talk about that for a minute. All right, anyways, let's get back to the video. As we are going through here. It looks like we got another house. It looks about the same one that we entered earlier, but this one's got spooky webs on it. So, you know, this is like a really good like Halloween type map. I should have saved this for a Halloween special map, huh? Cause it is really eerie. But then when you get to the surrounding area, it's not as eerie. I think it's just like this village harbor part. That's really kind of creepy. Oh, here we go. We can get another look at that uh, creepy house from down below here. So the map is really big. Oh, actually before we move forward, Let's do the selfie, and I'm going to show you guys the whole map here. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty big for the most part. Um, there is a lot to it. Now, it is kind of hard to see, huh? <laughs> I should turn on the stinky bright potion. So, I don't know if you guys can get a good glimpse there while I'm zooming out real quick, but it is a pretty big map. So, not too bad. Hello. <laughs> Alright, there we go. All right, let's keep moving forward. As we're moving along here, I'm gonna be drinking some coffee in between. So excuse my sipping on the mic. Hopefully it's not too distracting. All right, let's go ahead into the enchanted forest here. Um, it's not really enchanted, I just call it that. And to give you guys a better perspective, um, I'm going to be turning on the Stinky Bright Potion again. There we go. We can light everything up now. And I should have did this before I did the selfie camera so you guys could see the map better. Uh, but that's okay. 
Alright, let's go head into Stormheim, or the Enchanted Forest, as we would say. And I believe the Edge of the World is actually right over here already. So as you can tell, they do keep a lot outside of bounds. Now, I love fall. I'm a big fall guy. I love fall. I think fall is a lot of fun. Um, ooh, check this out. Look, they keep like a mummy over here. That's a first time here in an out of bounds, huh? And what's really strange, too, is look at this. You're actually in fatigue over here as well. So they do, they do have you like you're at the edge of the world, which I mean you are, but it's so strange that they, uh, they keep that there. I don't know. I never understood the fatigue thing. So the question is, do we want to go right or do we want to go left? And I think we're, you know what, let's start right first and then we'll loop our way around. Now, I don't want to have to have you guys watch me walk this whole thing. So I'm definitely going to be doing edit cuts here and there just to skip forward. And while I give my commentary and walk through this thing, there's a lot to explore and see. So we're just going to slowly, you know, take it one by one step here. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward. Oh, look at this. So they do keep the giant Vicro statue out here. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I know a lot of people are going to fact check me in the YouTube comments. It's actually spelled Vicro, Vicro Nathan. <laughs> I love when you guys do that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't really care. I just say it the way I say it. And sorry if it sounds cringy, but oh, well. Now they do keep the giant statue. I do love that out here. Look at that. check that out all right guys let's go take a look um let's go head out this way and let's go fly across the area here now you're gonna get a really cool like zoomed out shot here of me flying across the lake and, you know, this map, Out of Bounds, is really pretty. Now, I don't know if we can swim. So, I'm going to, like, get on the land here just to be safe. Because with Out of Bounds, sometimes you can swim. Sometimes you can't. And I don't know. I never tested it yet. And I don't want to do it here while we're recording. I'll do it off camera. So, if you haven't tested the Monosol Swimming, go for it. Let me know how it goes. I'll probably test it out later myself. All right, we're going to head up this mountain here. And we're going to go get to the top. And the statue is fully modeled. I love it. Now, unfortunately, we could go fly over there if we wanted to go see the statue up close. But I don't think it's worth the time because we're going to have to fly over there, then fly back across the lake, then go all the way up here again. It's just not worth it. So let's go head into this little village area here. And let's see what they keep down here. Now, is there anything actually down below? Ooh, okay, you can get another shot of the end of the edge of the world here. I was gonna say end of the world. And here we go, some more fall foliage going on. Love the beautiful fall foliage. I think Stormheim was one of the actually really coolest areas in the game, especially with the way uh, they did I, I don't know. I think Blizzard did a great job. Look at this, um, this like bees honeycomb nest going thing going looking over here. I love like, I don't know if that's fireflies or supposed to be bees or what it is, but if anybody can remember what that's supposed to be, I'm assuming that's what it is. All right, let's go take a look in here. And now another part is they do keep all of this down here with the wreckage and the ship and all that. I would go down there too, but my thing is, I think that cave in there at the very bottom, the one I'm talking about over here, right here, let me land here. So the one, this cave right here, I think if you go inside of it, it actually DCs you. So do be careful because if I remember correctly, that's the entrance to something else over here i think because i think right now we're over here right 
And I didn't discover this. Now, guys, remember, I'm playing on my Demon Hunter. So, I, it's not my main. <laughs> I know, it's weird, right? Running a YouTube Out of Bounds channel, Demon Hunter's not my main. I play on Hunter most of the time. So, my Hunter is my main, but I play use my Demon Hunter as my Out of Bounds. My Demon Hunter is my second main. I'll, okay, I'll say that. And uh, I don't have everything explored in the world because I boosted him a long time ago. So, we'll have to... Um, We'll have to, uh, you know, we'll have to just keep exploring things as we go, and we'll do it together. That's what the channel's for. All right, so far, we're getting up the hill here, and I'm trying to give you guys great shots as much as I can of on the backside. Ooh, let's go get up to that night elf looking structure up there. That's really cool looking. Now, I don't think I have ex... I don't think I have that discovered outside of the map or in Stormheim either. So I don't know exactly what that's called, but I know it's like right up here in this area. And I think this is part of a quest line you do for the night elves over in, ah, uh, what's it called? Azuna, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but it looks like that. So let's go take a look up the hill here. Now, I do love the easy access to the hills that they're putting up here because a lot of times it is so hard to access anything out of bounds where you have to do a lot of jumping and trickery to climb up the mountain. And then you got to do like a bunch of vengeful retreats as you guys see here. But, you know, a good thing we're mobile, right? We're probably the most mobile class in the game, hands down. So we have to, uh, we can use that to our strength. Ooh, look at this. We do got another statue going on over here as well. And this one's really up close, and I think we can fly to that one too. All right, this is what I wanted to go see. Look, it looks like we're back in Darnassus with this tower, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Being an Alliance player, having Darnassus get burned, it was really a sad event. So. Sylvanas is the worst. All right, sorry guys, I'm not a horde player. <laughs> so I'm against Sylvana, so for the Alliance, that's what I say. All right, now you do get an awesome view of this. I'm gonna take another screenshot. And let's actually go make our way up to the mountains over here. Do another flip, boom, fly forward, and there we go, we made it. And let's go get up close to this statue. now. Actually, if I remember correctly, I don't think you can fly to the statue. I think it, like, actually blocks you from going on to top of it. Uh, which is really weird. I don't know why, out of everything, they don't want you flying on top of the statue. But it's like, here, do everything else out of bounds. But as you guys can see, man, this thing is massive. Look at this thing. Massive, massive, massive. Oh! No way! We can actually go inside of it. I didn't arrest all that to begin with. All right. Well, let's go take a look. Ooh. Creepy looking. Can we go to the top? Oh, we can. All right. Wow, this just added a awesome factor to this video here. We can get to the top. Let's go up the creepy hallway with all the spider webs and fire and... Awesome. All right, I didn't know we could do this. I'm sure, I know this is in the retail game, but I don't think I've actually ever been up on top of one of these. I'm sure there's some quest line in the game and I just forgot to do it or never did do it to begin with. Um, which is sad because I played a lot during the Legion expansion. Which was an awesome expansion, I will admit. Blizzard did a great job on that. I know it's one of top people's favorites of Legion. Man, this thing just goes up and up and up and up. And we made it. Ooh, check out the sword in the skull. Oh, look, we can look out the eyes. Huh. Unfortunately, we're stuck in here now. So we kind of went up here for no reason, but I was definitely curious to what was up here, if there's anything. Look at that. If anybody remembers what quest or anything they did on in this uh, statue, I definitely would love to know. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go down the stairs and I will be right back. 
All right, guys, we are back again, and we are officially out of the tower, and we're going to keep taking a look around the, uh, we're going to head out this way. So let's go and explore. Now, is it just me, or does anyone else feel like the audio is really loud? Gosh, I feel like any time I go into a, uh, <laughs> an OB now, the music's like blasting. It's like loading up any single Valve game on Steam. You guys know what I'm talking about. The... Dun, dun, dun. You know, like Left 4 Dead or Half-Life or whatever. You have the the Valve like load up logo and all that. Oh man, the thing is so loud. I don't know why games do that or why Valve. I think Valve just does it to troll people. All right, so let's take a look here. Now they do keep a campfire with some like tarn looking structures here. And if we head down here, they do keep all of um. Gosh, what do you call it? Uh, Agragramar's Vault. There you go. Boom. My best attempt at saying that. <laughs> uh, they do keep the vault here. Now, this is a trip. Check this out. Look, at we got like a floating... I don't know, something here. Can you jump through it? No. It's actually solid, but it's just floating off the ground. Interesting. I wonder if this thing is usually resting on something. And that's why it's floating. That's kind of strange, huh? You know, I wonder if we can get on top of it. Ah, we missed. Okay, that's okay. I probably could have did it with one more flip, but that's okay. Let's go ahead into the vault. Let's go see what they keep in here. I'm always afraid to go in buildings and OBs because you don't know what's a DC. Oh, gosh. See, that's what I'm exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what's DC. I don't know what you're going to fall through. That scares the heck out of me because it's like it might be fall through. Oh, okay. So the whole structure is here. Nothing too much, though. See, but that's what I'm talking about. With going into out-of-bounds uh, buildings, you get clipped through, and sometimes you might fall through, or you might DC, and you're just entering something that normally not supposed to be here. So we're going to go back out. There we go. All right. So we made it out and in safely. So let's go ahead back up this way. And actually, you know, let's go ahead up this way real quick, because I want to give you guys an awesome shot of the entire map from the other side now. And we can see directly what is over here. So there looks like a cave over there. Definitely not going to go in that cave. That looks like you would get stuck. Oh, I love the throne seat going on here. How dare you sat where he sat. Uh, let's see here. All right, so here goes like an upper view of everything. Kind of like a different perspective. Um, all right, let's go ahead out this way. And check this out. So they do keep a lot of this up here. Look at another throne up here as well. So you got one seat over here. You got one seat right here. And man, this is a really gorgeous out of bounds map, huh? With all the fall foliage and you got the green. This is an awesome map to get out of bounds at. So I highly recommend all of you, if you haven't, if you guys haven't, uh, got out of the map yet with this um i definitely recommend you come here it's pretty awesome all right let's go travel out this way oh this is one of my favorite parts over here so i remember going out of here a long time ago breaking out of mob souls and um i see these awesome bridges here in the distance let's go walk over to them and what's kind of it's kind of weird about these bridges is they're like they're here but they're not really here look at this thing i love it that's actually an end of the map over there so if we keep walking out towards that way we're gonna get stuck and i just don't want to feel like getting stuck right now but as you can tell all the water is gone in the back here so there's nothing running underneath but the bridge just kind of ends into nothingness so if you were to walk across the bridge it would go nowhere but pretty awesome to see though I love when structures just end like that and out of bounds. I think it's kind of neat, especially when they get like cut off halfway. All right, this bridge we can walk across and it looks like the edge of the world is over here. So it looks like another edge of the world. I'm assuming there is more fatigue. Yep, more fatigue. And we are on the edge of the world. You guys kind of get an under view there. So there's a waterfall running. Let's go check out the waterfall. 
Waterfalls are always awesome. There's a little house with a shark mounted up over here. And a little stream going down here. Nothing in the water. But there's a little creek that's running from underneath there. And you can kind of just get a little bit of like the ripple effect of the water here. Look at that. <laughs> I love that they keep little things like that. Check out the shark that's like mounted up. For like a prize. Check that out. With some wood hanging on its mouth. It's cool looking. All right. Let's go fly. Okay, we're not going to fly down there because I feel like we're going to get stuck and we might even die. So let's actually... Uh, oh, okay. This is a dead end. Let's actually go head back this way. I wish we could mount up. Now, I want to show you guys something. Um, eventually, we'll get to it. There is one place that you can mount up in this uh, dungeon. <laughs> It's really random, and it's like the only place you don't want to mount up because you can't do anything with it. So I'll show you guys here in a minute what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, there's a place here on the map that you can mount up at. Uh, oh, look at these crystal things in the distance here. Look at that. It's pretty, huh? All right, here's another little hut with the fireplace going. And we're gonna head out this way. And we almost did a full circle here, guys. So great job making our way. All right, let's go head out this way. Wow, there's a whole town down here. Check this out. This is awesome. All right, we gotta go do a Batman fly down here, right? Let's go get another awesome view of us flying. One thing I love, oh, by the way, just reminding you, over here, right in this area is death. So don't go there. You can't go behind the portal. You'll die. And there's really no reason to when you can just break out and see behind the portal anyways. Unless you're really that curious and just want to go die over there. So, I mean, it's up to you. You guys can do what you want. <laughs> All right, check out this town. We got a bonfire going. Hear ye, hear ye, all the townspeople. And uh, let's go head up this way. So they do keep all the town here in the back with some uh, roasted barbecue. I don't know what they're barbecuing. Looks like some steaks going on in the grill there. And we got some cheeses and butter. Yeah, they keep all the props and everything back here. With some bread and mushrooms, it looks like. Cheese. I don't know what they're barbecuing. And let's go head up into this awesome pad. Look at this. I love this OOB. It's just so pretty to me. With the fall foliage and the trees and everything. Good job, Blizzard. Really good job. I'm, I'm really happy with this. That goes into a little campfire back there. Huh. And I'm loving having my graphics set to Ultra and like having ray tracing. It's been a lot of fun. So get to see World of Warcraft and all its beauty on ultra settings. Ray tracing doesn't really help that much. It just kind of tanks frames, but still fun to have on. All right, let's go head up this way. And it looks like we're about to do the full circle, guys, because remember we started over here. So let's go head up this little path here. And let's go see if we can get on top of this bridge here. And I think we got to head this way. Trying to give you guys the best camera shots I can, so I'm moving my camera a lot. Um, let's go head up here. Oh, that was a lame attempt. Oh, really? Really? All right, there we go. Oh, okay, there's nothing anyways. I'm crazy. And let's go make our way up here. And let's go ahead into the little village. Now, this is a little different because now you got kind of like the fell stuff going on back here and not just the Vicral, Vicryl, or cool, I don't know how you say them, stuff of the uh, village and all that. But you do got some of the Legion, like, goo going on over there. The fell energy. 
And look at this. So it actually recognizes we're back in Stormheim. Which I think is kind of funny. So if we were to die, it would just take us back to Stormheim right here. But I think there's a part, if I remember correctly, that it actually takes you to... There it is, right there. So we left the channel and we're actually in the Hellmouth Cliffs right here. So on the map, we would be like right over here. Somewhere in this area, I think, right? Yeah, because we went across here. Boom. Yeah, so it's like right in this area over here. Unless this is leading to the Halls of Valor. I don't remember. It's been a minute. But we can also check after as well. Oh, look at that. So we got some of like the red glowing stuff going here. Look at that. That's a trip, huh? I wonder why that is. What is that supposed to be is my guess. I don't know. I'm very fascinated by this red spray paint on the ground. But... All right, guys. Well, that's about it for the Mod Souls part one here. Um, we're going to go take a look at part two here in just a second as we go get on the ship here, the Nagfalar. And uh, but before we do that, I wanted to go show you guys one place in this map where you can actually mount up. Well, you can get your mount to summon it, but you can't actually mount up. I'll go show you. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back again, and where we're actually headed is straight across the swampy area here. And um, so remember, this is death. So don't go over there. But right over here, there's a place where, remember, like, the dude comes out of the wall here and it, like, opens up. There's a, um, a place right under the rock that you can actually swim under and get underneath and inside. And right in there, for whatever reason, the game just allows you to mount up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out right here. I'm going to get under the water. Whoa, what's going on here? Look at my dude. He's like, oh, maybe this is because of the transmog? My dude's like, oh, that's a trip. Look at this animation. I've never seen that before. Is that new? Or is it only because I'm wearing this transmog? Anyways, okay, I think it's because I'm only wearing this transmog. All right, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. But I got this really cool, like, walking effect going. All right, uh, so if you actually make your way up and in here, right here, it highlights your mouth, but you can't mount up. I don't know, it's the strangest thing. For whatever reason, they allow you to mount up here, like right here in this wall. Because you're technically on the Hellmouth Cliffs, like the cliffs where we were way over there. And then it just allows you to mount up. So I don't know. Or it doesn't allow you to mount up, but it's so strange though. So, I don't know. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So, alright guys, let's go ahead into part two of our Maw of Souls. And I'll see you in just a second. All right, guys, we are back for the final part of the Maw of Souls. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for everybody who has stuck around to this finale here. We have made it onto the boat of the Maw of Souls, the Nag Falar, the Nag Falar. I, I don't know how I say it, but yeah, we're here. And before we begin, doesn't this boat look familiar? Huh. What a night, Venus. Crew, howl with me so that we might set the seven seas ablaze with fear. Ow! Ah! Lee, 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 lee. Ow! Ah! Lee, 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 lee. Lee, 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 You all will regret trespassing in my realm! You think you have 
have won. You have merely survived. You know, now that I think of it, it must have just been a dream or something. Ah, I don't know. It looks familiar, though. <laughs> All right, guys. We are here at the final stage. We have just defeated Helia. And, um, yeah, we're going to be breaking out of bounds in the final boss room. And before we do that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who joined me in the Maw of Souls here. It's been a really fun video to shoot and to make. And I hope you guys got a laugh and enjoyed the scenery with me. Now, when you're in the final boss room, it's pretty easy to escape. Don't go this direction or out there. You will go back and get teleported onto the ship. Go right where I'm going here. So just place a pillow on the very edge. Walk forward. Zoom out. I would take a couple of... Uh... And there you go. You're officially out of the map. And check this out. How awesome is this? Now, one thing I love about this map is the floor. Look at this. So this all is supposed to be water, right? Technically, is what you're seeing up here. But you can actually go below this, and there's actually a floor right below it where the game space lives. And what's really interesting is this whole skybox that we're in right now, or that's above us with the all these uh, whirlwinds and tornadoes and all that stuff that's going on around us is actually movable it look at the whole skybox moves when you move and all that so you can see the very bottom edge of it right here so you're kind of like in this encased dome of a skybox and it's just moving all around up and down just give you this kind of like smoke and mirror effect of what you're really seeing so what we're going to do is we're going to drop down here and we're going to get to the very bottom hello guys and uh we're going to get to the bottom and then what we're going to do Oh, I died. I didn't hit my fly button. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Let's try that again. Ha, I'm an idiot. All right, guys. Anyways, I'm kind of glad that I died because that kind of worked out. Anyways, when you get outside of here, you can actually walk around the boat. I did, I forgot about that. So look at this. You can completely walk around the boat, check out everything up close if you want to check it out. But this is just a really awesome OB here. I love this map and this Maw of Souls. Thank you guys for voting for the Maw of Souls dungeon. This has been such a fun map to explore and to see everything. One thing I would be curious is to show you guys what Helia looks like before we kill her. Um, I wonder if her model or anything is living outside of the boat before she spawns. That would be interesting to find out. If anybody knows that, let me know. But we're going to go head back down again. And I'm going to drop. And I'm not going to die this time. So we're going to completely drop down before we hit the bottom. We're going to get all the way to the bottom here. Oh, look at that. We got a rowing boat dude animation going on right here. Look at that. What the heck? Look at this dude. He's just hanging out there. I have never seen that before. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Huh. He's just rowing the boat by himself, I guess. Have you guys see this above me? Oh, that's strange. All right, let's keep going. I never noticed that guy. All right, now we're not going to die this time. There we go. We have officially made it safe to the bottom. So do be careful if you fall down. Um, so what I wanted to show you guys is when you get to the bottom, you can see the very bottom of the skybox here, right here. So we're actually in like enclosed bubble coliseum looking thing. Like a snow globe, basically. And you see all these effects living around you. There's actually a bottom floor to the map, but Blizzard has built like a smoke and mirror effect of all these whirlwind and tornado and twisters and everything you see. So really neat to see. Now, unfortunately, I don't think you can actually, you can access the very edge of the map, but you can't actually see underneath or over the skybox. So what we're going to do real quick is we're gonna go into our special camera if we can get out and i wanted to give you guys a better look at everything check that out how cool is that all right we're gonna get another uh, screenshot here and uh, yeah i just think it's pretty awesome so that's it guys that is the maw of souls 
I want to thank everybody who's been watching the channel, supporting the channel, liking, comments. Um, you guys are just incredible. And I hope that you guys enjoy more all things nerd videos to come. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show me. And uh, you guys are just awesome. And uh, definitely look forward to more details coming up for the hide and seek event. I'll have a sign up coming up shortly and I'll have more details to follow on that. So as always, guys, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.